Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video. I am on my target tenant here where we want to migrate all the users, mailboxes and OneDrive data. And I want you to observe, uh, you can see the five users which are migrated from my source to the target tenant. I have manually assigned these users with the uh, Microsoft 365 E5 licenses, right? Now, I want you to observe that uh, currently, so I've logged into uh, my names account, right? It's not my account, it's just a temporary account. I've logged into it and currently there are no files on OneDrive and uh, there are no emails on the uh, in the mailbox right we can observe the same thing from here also right if i go to mail and uh, so i just assigned a license and that is why it's still saying that we it is preparing the mailbox and uh, okay it is ready but uh, it is empty right there is uh, 1.104 mb used out of 100 gb and as far as one drive is concerned that is also empty probably it should have just the default data but it's zero mb right now this is a target tenant right now i am gonna take you to my source tenant and i want you to observe this is my uh this is my alpha fashions account right and in my alpha fashions account in my onedrive i have approximately 209 0.7 MB of data and in the mail I have 67.87 MB of emails so guys what is our next step the next step is to migrate the mailboxes and the emails from my source to target tenant now let's go on quest on demand let's go to migrate Let's go to projects. Let's open our project. Let's go to our accounts. So we are in our. Uh, so. So we are in our accounts. Let's go to mailboxes. I want to migrate my mailboxes and let us scroll down to find the mailbox with the, my name and that is I'm gonna select my name here and let's click on migrate mail it's going to create another mail migration task and I do not have any uh, existing template so we are not using any template here click on next now it is asking us to assign a license plan to the target mailbox accounts. Now I already assigned a license manually, but please observe that we do have an option to assign the license, right? Now you can uh, select how selected licensing plan will be assigned to migrated mailbox accounts. Assign the plan to unlicensed accounts. Licensed accounts will retain their plans assign the plan to all accounts licensed accounts will switch to the selected plan i now already have it but you could have assigned it from here as well click on next so my migration scenario is from primary mailbox to uh, primary mailbox right i want to move from primary to primary although i do have a choice if i want to migrate from archive to primary or archive to archive or from primary to archive right and you can observe that we have option to migrate mail calendar items contacts your task notes or recoverable items your saved safe sender and block list and if you want to reset the migration then you have an option do this only when you need to do a full re remigration and not a delta sync of your source content to target. 
right now i'm not going to reset this and i'm only going to go with the default settings let's click on next if there are any inbox rules which you might have created in your uh, source mailbox then we can select the mailbox rules uh, we can migrate them you want to migrate mailbox delegation if you have given any full access or send as or send on behalf of permission on your mailbox you want to migrate to delegation you can do that you want to migrate the folder permissions any calendar permissions you have given to anyone right you want to migrate your auto reply settings or you want to migrate your litigation hold settings then we can we can migrate those right now i'm not selecting any of these for now but we have the option let's click on next now how do you want to manage the mail flow now do you want to apply mail forwarding or do you want to remove mail forwarding we can go with the mail forwarding mail forwarding direction will be from target to source or from source to the target right now we need to specify the custom domain name for forwarding email addresses if the domain is omitted or does not exist the primary smtp address will be used now click on next now do you want to migrate all the folders or do we want to uh, migrate to a custom folder you can specify a custom folder name right or we want to migrate uh, to a separate folder so we can specify the names for that right you can specify exceptions or you can migrate specific folders we have all the options available here okay you want to add some exceptions or you want to migrate only specific folders then we can specify that guys i hope you can observe that we have all the choices what to migrate what not to migrate right how to manage the mail flow how to migrate the calendar settings and permissions and everything click on next if you want to migrate data only for a specific range then we can specify that right i'm going to migrate everything since i don't have much data but let's say you don't want to migrate let's say 5 10 years old data just in case you have it. this might be a useful uh, option next i want to get a notification when a task is complete guys in the last video you must have seen uh, uh, the outlook emails the emails the notification emails which we got next i want to generate a report yes click on next and uh, i want to run this with a medium priority you do have option of making you do have option of changing the priority click on next and if we want to save these selections we made as a template so that we can use it again we can save it as a template okay right, let's give it name template one and let's click on finish done let's go to tasks and uh, let's observe our task probably it's going to take some significant amount of time uh let's click here and uh, let's observe i started it at this particular time and uh, let's see how much time it's going to take guys i want you to observe that my mail migration task is at 11% currently and it is migrating the mailbox it has only been like 2 uh, to 3 minutes currently and we have three events created for this migration task uh 
so at 12.15 the task was started at 12.17 the x500 addresses were migrated then mail switch was processed no warnings no failures and no fatal letters let's go to our target uh, mailbox the target tenant and let's refresh let's just observe and we don't have anything here yet let's come back and go back to task guys i want you to observe that our events have increased by a significant number let's go to events and let's observe that as the mail migration task is in progress lots and lots of events are occurring at the same amount of time right let's scroll down here and observe what all uh, type of data or events have been happening so let's observe like it discovered the auto discover url or the or redirection url was found right it is checking for uh, the number of messages in all the folders right in sent folder items the message estimate for sync issues is zero messages any conflicts or issues local failures everything is zero guys i hope you are observing what all kind of checks the quest is performing here right i have total 398 items that will be migrated migrating color categories uh, done migrating color categories although i didn't had any color categories but anyhow migrating contacts migrating distribution list migrating appointments i had seven appointments from calendar um, then starting note migration migrating the email getting messages in folder sent items guys i hope you are observing how quest is noting down each and everything and how it is migrating one by one each and every uh, item from our mailbox okay this was the second list which we did not open this is the second list guys 2128 appointments appointments seven okay let's click next here again seems like guys please observe how quest has recorded each and every information from my mailbox from my source and how it is migrating each and every smallest thing associated with the mailbox let's go back to tasks and observe if our task has uh, progressed guys i need you to observe that my mail migration task has reached 97 percent it is almost eight to nine minutes that my task was started and uh, okay it's at 99 percent now it says migrated i have one warning here uh, let's see what it is before that let's go to the target and i want you to observe that i have got my emails migrated okay guys this is live right now and i just want to let's do one thing let's go to uh, some time of the uh, calendar and uh, observe if my meetings which i might have created a couple of months back were there or not okay 
I do have one uh, uh, meeting here. Then, guys, can you observe this? So this was my calendar in July 2024. And these were a couple of meetings which I scheduled. I want you to validate. This is my account on the target tenant. Let's observe one more thing. Let's come back here in the admin center. Let's go to mail and uh, let's try to refresh this and see if the size of my mailbox have been increased. It was almost uh, empty earlier and now it is 61.7 MB. And guys, please observe that my mail migration task is complete and it took nine minutes now guys it took nine minutes for only like 65 mb of data if uh of course if you have very large amount of data which could go beyond 80 90 hundreds of gb uh, it could take a significant amount of time also i would like to inform you that as a best practice your mailbox size should not go beyond 90 gb otherwise there would be issues right so make sure that you are reducing the size of your mailboxes to less than 90 or less than 80 gb for best performance so that you don't have any issues while migrating your mailboxes right uh, that's it guys that was the uh, mail migration task and uh, we saw how all my emails and my calendar events were also migrated right thank you